welcome students to class 12 english classes conducted by your english teacher monica kaur today we are going to start with flamingos the rat trap chapter number 4 but before i initiate this chapter i would like to request you all to like share and subscribe my channel and students please do not forget to ring the bell icon for the further notifications hello students welcome back to class 12 class of english students i hope you all are in your best of the health still pandemic is there so please take good care of yourselves as well as of your parents Okay, guys. So, guys, let's start with today's new chapter. Today's new chapter is all about a very beautiful thinking that that the author Salma Lager Law has created in this whole of the chapter. This chapter tells us that human beings at mind are really very much weak, fragile. in their thinking that whenever they will get a chance to fall as a victim on a because of that greed or what else they really not able to balance themselves this chapter is all in all tell us about about how we have to keep our balance and ourselves mentally balanced so the chapter is what the chapter's name is the rat trap this is the fourth chapter of the book flamingo so before i initiate the next thing of the chapter let's have a look a brief look about the author salma legro okay so here it is about the author now she was a swedish author it means that she was a native of sweden okay and a teacher also she was not only the writer she was not only penning the moral values values on that page but she was also also inculcating those values through physically that contact to the students okay she was born on 20th november 1858 in sweden she died on 16 march 1914 in sweden only it means that she had lived the full of her life in sweden only her award she was been awarded with the nobel prize on 10 december 1909 and this award was was for her her amazing work in literature okay now next she had written a lot of books but the famous most famous books of her her are the wonderful adventure of nil in 1906 then gotta berlin saga in 1891 okay guys so it was about the uh, that author of the chapter the rat trap selma legerlof okay now let's talk about the theme of the chapter what is the theme of the chapter the chapter revolves around one thinking one focus and that focus is what guys that most humans fall as a victim to their greed trap okay which is temporary benefit now we people wanted that our dreams all fulfilled but we never wanted to work hard for that we always wanted to have a shortcut we wanted to become tata billa but not by the dream we see 
we wanted to become a president but not with our sheer education or with our sheer leadership qualities but what we wanted a shortcut way but we people forget it that these whole of the shortcut are just a temporary benefit to our life it is not at all a life long going on procedure in our life that every time we took a shortcut route and then we be, we are going to be the successful no it is not but still knowing it that our shortcomings are our temporary benefit but still we people people are going on with that so that is the first theme of this chapter that the people because of their greed fall in the trap of that greed which is just just for a temporary period or for a that tenure period which is going to be end even in next moment only okay now the second theme is really very beautiful theme the second theme is that love kindness may transform power of distracted mind but if we have have that power if we have that compassion for humanity so here guys that our love our kindness might be able to transform that distracted mind and may might be we people will be able to able to contact with that person in reality we touch that person soul in reality and might be that that would be a benefit for uh, for him if you guys remember in class 10 you people have studied a uh, one story called it is called a thief story where the that the owner of the house knew it that that the person was uh, means uh, somewhere else stealing the money that is to be given to him him for purchasing the groceries uh, or the vegetables or what else but of this the everyone need the money so that owner didn't say anything even when that owner got to know that that person had theft his hard earned money then also he didn't say he didn't uh, that say a word rather than he means that convinced him to learn to educate himself so that he may earn daily not occasionally so like this that he was being transformed into a perfect human being so our might be our love our kindness would help that person but it is not sure but might be okay so after the theme let's talk about the characters of the chapter the first and the most important that is the main character the peddler main character main hero main protagonist of the story is the peddler old croft a gentleman gentleman who actually actually welcome that the peddler the wanderer without knowing about his past even although he was wearing such a tonable uh, that clothes but he didn't mind he welcomed him and so gracefully as a guest he entertained him okay rancho iron master a straight forward straight forward person a very straight forward person very blunt person but still he had a heart of gold okay then edla edla will manson edla will manson daughter of this edla will manson daughter of ramjo iron master and she is really a very kind very compassionate loving as well as down to earth girl who was not at all that beautiful but she was really a soul beautiful person 
so guys this was about the chapter the next uh, is coming with you for that summary page number 1 to 3 summary as well as the textual uh, the expressions of that 1 uh, to 3 page as well as the vocabulary of that that number of the pages so guys so let's start with the summary there was a man who went around selling small rat traps of wire he made those rat tra rat traps himself from the material either he got by begging in the stores or at the farms but this work of him was not paying good or was not getting sufficient money to live comfortably sometimes he beg for food or sometimes when the people they were so rude and harsh on him he even stole the food his clothes were old and torn and his face was showing how hungry he was he was a homeless wanderer who was walking slowly by the side of the road while walking in thoughts about world's trap elements like lands seas cities villages etc he was thinking that all these things have increased the deep sense of traps for people like about money fame shelter and food he compared the life of humans like rats that needed cheese and pork and for getting that they trapped in rat traps the world was not at all kind to peddler but he knew many people who had trapped or caught in the dangerous trap made by their greed desires only with this thought and walking he reached suddenly a very small grey cottage he knocked at that cottage door and suddenly the door opened and there standing an old man his name was crofter peddler very humbly asked him for shelter for that night usually his help never provide him a fruitful result but to his surprise he was welcomed by that old man happily not only this he offered him food shared with him his tobacco and not only this that man who was all alone he told peddler that he did not have a wife or children he used to live alone and he was happy to see peddler as his shared friend in his loneliness that's why he was so humble he was so warm welcome to him he played cards and macholis with peddler the old crofter was so happy that he shared his past life story with peddler he told him that he worked at ramsjo iron works on land also he worked when he was young but when he was getting older he left those laborful jobs he had now a cow 
whose milk is the only source of income and he had already saved the money by selling that milk without even suspicion on the peddler's attitude or thought process he also showed him him the place where he had kept his 30 crores it was a strange thing for the peddler to be so trustful in the eyes of someone else next day both of them went to their ways happily half an hour later the peddler returned back he broke the window pane and theft all the saved money of the crofter the leather pouch was a trap for the peddler as it made him to forget the hospitality of old craft old crofter and he also ashamed the humanity or the trust of the old crofter on him but at that time his mind was totally distracted his greediness was really playing on his mind rather than a beautiful a humble welcome of the old crofter peddler was really very happy on his act he was thinking that it was a kind of the lottery for him and many months he was going to live his life really like a king after feeling that after robbing old crofters that uh, uh, hospitality as well as his trust he started running towards to the uh, to the main land to the main highway but then he realized that it would be a very easy trap for the police to find him and arrest him so he started running towards the woods to avoid the police suddenly since morning till evening he was running running inside that and that woods only there was no way out for him to get out of that jungle to get out of that woods he was just running and then he realized what that that he was moving in one place only he was moving like an orbit he starts from there and he came back to that place only and then he understood that what he was thinking about the world as a trap now this jungle has become his his own self trap due to his greed trap of money he was caught inside the forest from where he was not able to cross cross the that forest it was almost a late in december and already forest surrounded with the darkness of not of that light but of his sadness and anxiety also what comes next was he able to get out of the Uh, that jungle was he able to live was he died that i will tell you in my next part of the story so guys see you and please take good care of yourself as well guys please like share and subscribe my youtube channel so here are the relatable vocabulary from the page number 1 to 3 as well with that the sexual expression so guys let's see rags rags means a tattered clothes now tattered means it is not at all a proper wearable clothes they are not be it is not means that they are not stretched properly it means that from every side they are being torn up that tattered clothes okay so the peddler was wearing 
rags okay it means that he was not not at all in a proper clothes his clothes were torn so that is what it means another is sunken means depressed the rat trap was in sunken attitude because of world attitude towards him he himself was really very much depressed because every time he was expecting the uh, that the public to uh, help him but he was not getting it so that's why he was feeling really depressed so so sankan means depressed okay vagabond 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 means a person who wanders from place to place because he was selling a rat trap and it was not at all a profitable business for him so he used to travel from one place to the another place but it was not the fact he was not having that much of the money to build a proper residence or build a shack for himself okay so the peddler was a vagabond okay so i hope that you people have understood the usage as well as the main words the meaning of it okay so let's come to the textual expression the first textual expression is to keep body and soul together what it means body and soul our outer as well as our our internal internal how to keep them together okay to manage to keep alive means what else it is coming still we are living our life still we are struggling we are facing the struggles of the life that it means okay or to survive okay means when we are doing much of the hard work to survive in that uh, in that area or in the world to keep ourselves going on with the fact that we are still living that is all to keep body and soul together so here means uh, whether it was by through stealing or getting the uh, help from the public the rat trap was was living his life okay then plot along the road now guys please understand the meaning of plot plot means walk slowly when he was totally engrossed in his own thinking at that time okay what moving along the road slowly but deliberately to walk with a heavy feet now guys understand he was really very unhappy the way the public behaved with him so he wanted to be out of that now town or village to move towards to the another part of the uh, the area to sell his rat trap to get some money so thinking about about how he would do it what the uh, world is all about he started his journey deliberately and he was walking slowly and slowly okay and there he was walking with his mindset but he was really very much depressed in his mind so guys i hope that you people have understood this much part of the of this uh, that summary and guys i'll be back soon by the time please watch the video properly and guys what you have to do yes ring the bell icon for the further notifications and please yes like share and subscribe my channel so guys take yourself in a healthy way eat healthy and live healthy by that time see you and bye bye these are the two questions from the done summary as assignment number 1 please do it in your fair copy